Elon Musk, he has this kind of reputation of being a sort of man of the people. And of course, when he said he was trying to buy Twitter, he was standing up for freedom of speech. Oh, very good. Except that when you look at Elon Musk, what he does, what the companies he fronts up produce, it's got a funny kind of coincidence going on here. And that is that everything that Elon Musk does and produces is straight off the script of the global cult agenda. The global cult, which has fronts like the World Economic Forum, which Harari is very much connected to. And it's the same cult that his work advances in terms of what it wants to do, that is also seeking to delete freedom of speech. You know, the freedom of speech that Elon Musk stands up for. Cares so much about. So that's, uh, mm, what? And it's amazing how what Elon Musk says and what he does are, uh, I think it's safe to say, not the same thing. Now, here's a great example. It's when he has been famously warning that artificial intelligence and the takeover by artificial intelligence could mean the end of humanity as we know it. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Nobody listened. No one. Maybe they will. So far they haven't. Okay, fair enough. I agree with all that. But then why, having said that, repeatedly, as you can see, does he start a company called Neuralink, which is there to develop ways of connecting computers to the human brain? AI, in other words, to the human brain. What? Sorry, Elon, I thought you said it could be the end of humanity. Why are you involved in a company that's doing it then? And what comes to mind is good cop, bad cop, really. You've got the good cop, Elon Musk. Oh, I care about humanity. I care about freedom of speech. And oh, yeah, oh, very worried about AI while advancing it. And bad cops like Ray Kurzweil, the executive at Google, the so-called futurist, who is saying quite openly that in the period of 2030, that year that keeps coming up in all these different cult agendas, by 2030 or around then, uh, we will be connecting AI to the human brain. And as he says, his words, not mine, that once that connection is made, AI will do more and more of human thinking and human thinking as we now know it will become less and less and in the end negligible. The mention there of helping people is one of the ways they sell this stuff. Now, I'm not against technology and if technology can help people who have physical problems, etc., and problems with uh, the way that their, their limbs work, then I'm all for getting the technology to help them, yes. But that's not what this is all about. That's the sales pitch. The real reason behind it is to control the entirety of humanity through AI. Now, 